we're going to create a new experiment using our lexical, lexical decision tasks to show how checkpoint nodes can be used to help you through the process when you're actively running a study. So first of all I'm going to create an experiment and I'm just going to set up the experiment here which will take a little while and then I'll talk you through what I've done. So in this task everyone will start and then they'll do their consent form and then we have a checkpoint node which will feed through here on our participants page so we can see where somebody's got, off, got up to. Then they will do their demographics form and there's another checkpoint node after that so we know when they've completed their demographics and then they're going to go into the first lexical decision task and then go through the task one checkpoint and then the second lexical decision task and then go through the task two checkpoint and then they'll finish. And each time somebody goes to a checkpoint we'll get um, their position in the study updated here, which is really useful when you're trying to decide whether to include or reject a participant. So now I need to set up my two tasks. And so the first task is we're distinguishing between farm animals and wild animals, and in the second task we're distinguishing between concrete and uh, concrete nouns and abstract nouns. But these are order. There's an order manipulation here, so some participants will get task one first and then task two, and the others will get task two and then task one. And that's so that's now set up. Let's see what that looks like on the participant side and in the participant data. So I'm going to use a second browser for this. Um, let's start our recruitment. I'm going to change the recruitment policy to simple link and change my recruitment target to 20. Here's the link. So I have my consent form. And now if we go here and look at the participants page, we can see that one person has got to consent. And let's go back and have another look. So now you can see I've reached the demographics checkpoint. So now, again, if we go back here and refresh, we can see that I finished task one. And that reached the end of the study. So now when I refresh, this will say I've been through checkpoint task two. And my status is completed because I finished the study completely. So that's one way that checkpoints can be really useful what can then happen is that if you come back and you find that somebody <coughs> has consented
and has done the demographics. But at this point they abandoned the study. You'll be able to come back in a day's time and go, am I prepared to buy the data where somebody has just completed one task or do I only really want to look at the data for people who have completely finished the study. Similarly, if somebody has consented and then got distracted, went somewhere else and never actually got started at all. You'd see they've completed the demographics, but they never completed the study. So you could choose not to complete, not to keep the data. Now, so here what I might want to do is I might want to include this person because they've completed task one, you, and I'm quite interested in their data. And this one here, who's just done the demographics and isn't going to come back, I can reject because I'm not interested in their data. So this one's been included. There's the little check. 